Hello and welcome back to some more Kerbal Space Program with me, the Green Dragon. We are on a suborbital trajectory on Zeminmus. Hopping over to another biome to do great things with great science. And after that, I don't know, we might do another landing. We might actually go home and hand in all this glorious research we've done. But either way, this is going to be an extremely profitable mission. We're going to get some money. We already did get some money, that is, for flying by Minmus. And we know we can do awesome things. Actually, something I will do once I'm safely landed is check to see if um, we get a mission to plant a flag on Minmus. Because if we do... Oh, baby. We can take advantage of that crap, can't we? Can't we now? Can't we now? Okay, so here I'm pretty sure it's... The altimeter out here isn't lying about how high up we are, so we can just use that to determine our altitude and when we need to apply our burns. You can't time warp at this altitude, unfortunately. But who gives a fuck? Use the physics warp. I'm sure it'll be fine. Burn! Bring down to 20 meters per second here. That'll be fine for now. Bring it down more. It's fine. Trust me. What could go wrong? Just to give me finer control. I'm gonna limit my thrust to about a third. That way I can balance the amount I am thrusting versus the gravity just so that I can uh, balance it out at more or less zero speed increase or decrease more easily. That's why I'm doing this. That's the idea. Okay, I can see my shadow. That's good. Good times, good times. Okay, I am thinking we're actually gonna go into orbit after this landing and when we're over something else, we're gonna actually take the opportunity to make good things happen. Okay, let's do it like this. Just burn ever so slightly to kill the last of our speed as we come in for touchdown. We don't want to bounce though. We're well in crash tolerance, so we're gonna set it up so that our speed is slowly increasing or more or less stable. Actually, I prefer a slow increase. Well, that's not so slow, but it'll do. Well, yeah, it'll have to do. A bit rougher than I would have preferred, but it's okay. Observe the mystery goal. I think we can't take surface samples yet. That does kind of suck, but... What can you do, right? Alright, there you go. And I do want to go back to the space center here. And see if I can uh, get another mission to get us money, because we need money right now. To upgrade our building so that we can gather the science we need to do cooler missions. Because... <laughs> I could go to Duna with the current technology, I think. I have skippers, I have the adapters I need, I could go to Duna, maybe, or at least with a couple more techs I could, but I need a few more things to make that truly viable, I think, to, you know, make it really useful. So, okay, we've gotten a bit more science from something. Well, we could grab aviation and or aerodynamics. Which we may well do, actually. But contracts. Temperature scans mm -hmm. on the moon. Science data from the surface. Take an EVA report on the surface. Crew report in spaceflight below. It's a lot of money. We are already there. 
it would be kind of stupid not to. Uh, and we are all gonna go to the moon in any case, and that's all plenty of money, so... Sure! Uh, we're gonna take those. They will all be useful. So... Oh, hey, we are more or less right there. Perfect! So you were gonna be able to jump on over to those and... handle that relatively easily. So no flag planting. Well and good. Okay, how do we need to launch? South and... West. Well and good. Alright, we still have the thrust limiter on. Ignite it. We're gonna aim to shoot it as a smidge. Just a smidge. It's a bit more than a smidge. Okay, what do we need? Oh, that's a lot of temperature scans, actually. Visual surveys of Minmus. EVA report on the surface. Well and good. We will land very shortly. We'll just kill our velocity somewhere near the apoapsis, I think. Right. Right. Right, kill the time warp. Right, yes, this is... Like, right here. Right fracking here. Can I target it? Activate navigation. All right. So it's supposedly there. Okay. So um that would move us away from it. Let's burn like this. I think that will help. And uh, then something like this. There. That should help. That should very much help, in fact. Let's kill our lateral movement. Sounds about right. And come straight down. be close enough, hopefully, to the target. Mostly I want it because it offers a lot of science. And, um, well, you know, science good. Let's put the trust limiter back on, put it to the boat. Well, yeah. 20 will be about right. Don't really need more. All things considered. We need the finer control more than we need raw power here. So yeah, and uh, let's balance it out at about 20. See? Even then it's like a quarter of the thrust we need in order to negate gravity of Minmus. Less even. How are our side tanks? Oh, pretty well. Pretty well, that's fine. Getting lower. Up the thrust a smidgen. No! I'm not interested in bloody sticky keys. God damn it, Windows. Whoever thought of this bullshit shortcut for this bullshit function? Nobody cares, Windows. Nobody cares. Virtually perfectly vertical. Smidge off to the one side, but it's barely noticeable. A slight adjustment. 
Our impact tolerance is something like 7 meters per second on the legs, I think. Depending, of course, on the weight they're asked to support. Well and good. So, let's just... Um, actually, well, yeah. At this point, let's maintain this speed, perhaps even increase it a bit, and when we get below, like, 100 or less, we're gonna burn off the rest of this, because I don't want to overdo the braking maneuver, because that would probably suck a bit. Waste more fuel as we come in too slowly, that kind of thing. Okay, there we are, that looks good. 4.5, excellent, we're still braking. Excellent, excellent, that looks good, that looks good. Perfect. Okay, that's more or less the way it should be. Perfect, cut the engine. Okay. That's the moon, nobody cares. Nobody cares. Science data. Yeah, we picked that up, but nobody cares. EVA report on Minmus. Yes, but it's not from the thing. Okay. Let go. Let's see if this counts, shall we? At sector... what's his face? Does this not fracking count? Are you kidding me? You know, game. Am I moving in the... Of course won't let me zoom in anymore. Let's just accelerate a smidge and... Uh, see if we can make it to this bloody sector, what's his face. this. Whoops! I meant break this. You know, movement, not jab. Don't really want to break jab. On the surface, I am on the surface. Yes, yes, very sexy. Alright, there's resources. Activate... God's fracking damn it. Let's head back. I have no idea what the fuck is going on there, and... Turn your jetpack on, ba dumbass. Let's go. Let's just launch ourselves at our thing. Yeah, we should have enough. Shouldn't be a problem, just keep your thing going. Accelerate a smidge more. There we go. It'll be fine. No! For fuck's sake! No! Fucking windows! Seriously. Fuck. I seriously cannot take a look at how to turn that crap off. Because... You don't need this shit. You know, the careful maneuvering that you have to do with jetpacks is always more fun when you do it in an atmosphere. Or rather in a gravity, that is. No, 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 no. Up. Grab. 
good job, good job. As for the thing... Fuck the thing. If the thing is gonna be like that, fuck the thing. Apparently it's in that general direction. Fine. Sigh. Let's drift over and attempt this because... Fuck's sake. Fuck's sake. Does it tell me when I enter that thing? Does it tell me when I enter the thing? I feel like it should tell me when I enter the thing. No! Bad. Bad. Bad Minmus. Doing bad things when I'm not looking. Ah, time warp! Fuck! <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. How about fuck no? Okay? How about just fuck no? How about we just... Go upwards, yay ballistically. And then we just spin around for a bit looking for that goddamn fracking marker. Oh no, I'm leaving it. Oh gee, thanks, bitch. Do we need to use our engine to head in the opposite direction? Those are still aren't empty, though. So it does tell me when I'm entering it. Wonderful. So next we need to head over to there. And get a crew report below a certain altitude. Wonderful. I think we need to start slowing down again. Here. Okay, that should bring me more or less straight down here. I want to know where we are. Okay, we are in it. Excellent. That's good. I want to cancel my vertical speed then. Jesus, burning towards the ground like that, it's... So wrong in so many different ways. Oh well. Oh well, this is gonna have to be a thing then. Sigh. Okay. At least we have the electricity to do these acrobatics this time. That's something. Okay, let's put our trust limiter on. Put it at 25 this time. Give us slightly a bit more oomph than on the previous landing and see what we can accomplish here. Mostly we're gonna get ballistically towards the ground, but hey! You know, reasons, things, reasons. We don't need to burn till we hit something like a thousand. I think. And if I'm wrong... No, 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 no. Now we do need to burn. And if I'm wrong, I will splat my ship, but I'm not wrong, I think. I think we're okay. Fuel on this is running low, but we should have just enough to complete this ridiculous mission and then to head home. Which is fine. Since this ridiculous mission is still gonna give us a metric f -ton of cash money. Which is good, since I like cash money. And there we go, just get rid of that speed and... Uh, Okay, balance it out. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, coming in for the docking maneuver. Alright, looking good. Speed could be lower, burn more of it off. That is okay, not ideal, but okay. Burn off a smidge more, adjust our heading. And we, at this point, want to be balanced on speed. Well and good. Cut the engines. And cut the SAS. 
let go. Yes, just walk off, it's fine, Jeff. Trust me. Thank you. Survey data. Cause reasons. No, climb. Cancel the boarding. Take all the data. Board now. No. Yes. Okay, gather the thing. Does this still count? Okay, it does. Excellent. So that no longer is a thing that we need to worry about. Well and good. Activate navigation for Bill's incline. Ignite the engine. So, actually, let's just do a quick spinny loop in order to figure out which direction we need to go. Okay, that away. Give us full power! Is that enough power? It doesn't appear to be showing me my path. That's because my path sucks. Thank you, game, for informing me. What about now? Oh wait, there we go. There we go, we should have... We should come right over it. Excellent. Let's just keep an eye on that, just so that we know. Actually, one thing. Do we have signs for this area? Yes, we do. Excellent. Excellent. And after that, we need to head more or less that away. Well and good, we'll manage somehow. Okay. Okay, we are more or less over it, I believe, at this point. Let's do a spin in order to detect it. Yep, we are over it, we are over it, we are over it. That means we start our braking maneuver right the frack now. This is on and kill the speed, kill the speed, kill the speed. Done. And come on down, come on down, come on down. Uh, plenty of speed now. Is it still flashing? Yes, it is. Okay. Well and good. Well and good. Wait, I need a crew report above this thing, right? Okay. In that case, we don't need Rulan because that really doesn't make much sense. In fact, we're not going to be landing again, so let's ditch that. So, let's get a bit of altitude. Wow, yeah, fuel. We have just enough to finish doing this, and then we really should consider heading back home. So, this general direction, right? Uh, Alright, I did just dump my batteries. Eh, fuck it. Who gives a fuck, right? Alright. Um... I have a feeling that might not be close enough. And that certainly won't be. Shit. Whoa, that was worrying, but that was just our boosters slash landing legs crushing. It's fine, it's fine, don't worry, it's okay. Um, as long as we have at least a quarter of this tank, I have virtually no worries about us being able to get back home, which would be perfectly fine. It shouldn't be a problem. Okay, we are above this thing. Is this good enough?
Let's build the incline below. Okay. Which means that I need to kill my speed here and come down. Sort of ish. Which I can certainly do, I think. Not on that trajectory, I can't, though. Well and good. Well and good. Okay, that's a thing. That's a thing, that's a thing, that's a thing. Below that. Okay. Let's kill some of that speed. Now let's come on down. And let's just dip slightly below the thing. Excellent, we have our things. Now we just need to come back. Okay, contract is apparently complete. Fine. Burn towards 90. Let's go. Let's just go, go, go. I think we have enough crap on this rocket to justify just taking it home. I'm gonna make this part slightly longer and we're just gonna finish the mission here. And I probably won't start a new one. Not today, anyway. And next time, depending on what parts we're able to get and how things work out, we might actually try and send something to Duna. Actually, no, we need to do another moon mission first. In order to actually... Uh, plant a flag, grab temperature, clear up some of these other missions. I might fail some of them. Maybe, I don't know. I don't really care about reputation. I care about science and cash. But, um, yeah. You know, as a thing. As a thing. We should have plenty of fuel to bring us home here. Shouldn't really be a problem. That is bringing it in. We're gonna have a nice hot re-entry, but at least we'll have the oomph needed. That's a bit too low. We're gonna go a smidge higher on this, actually. And gonna go up to... Not that much. You're gonna be a dick about it, aren't you? Fine. 5% thrust, please. Thank you. There, precision fracking control. What did I want? 30? I think it was 30. There, 30. Perfect. I have my heat shield, I have my crap. I should be very... Okay, thank you. Focus on my craft, please. Okay. And Kerbin should be gradually getting bigger and bigger. At least it isn't flashing weirdly here, right? Okay, there we go. Large amounts of stuff. Okay. Now we are not gonna be re-entering here. So that does not matter. I do have my ablator on, right? Yeah, I do. Okay, good. Spin us around. Place us on retrograde. Not that it will matter by the time we... Okay, that was the game loading something. And we are actually in the atmosphere. Excellent. Well, scary, but also excellent. There we go. Happily, happily, happily doing a thing, doing a thing, doing a thing. And we should be starting to see some flame effects relatively soon. We are already swiftly losing our orbital speed to the point where things are becoming things. But yeah, we are slowly losing our speed and uh, I'm gonna actually turn fine controls on for this. And Chip should be gaining plenty of experience from this as well. I do hope these 
don't burn off. If they do, I might have to move them on higher. Hopefully the blader uh, eats enough of the heat and uh, neutralizes it, that will be okay. You will notice that we are moving rather uh, quickly here, and that is uh, rather dangerous, for obvious reasons. Okay, we're starting to... I'm actually gonna leave this open so we can see the thing. Wow, well, yeah, I will actually bring the graphics back down a notch. Not anywhere near as far as they were, but we're getting like... 8-9 frames now, and that just... Will not do. Will not do. Though it is, of course, only for three entries, and maybe I'll leave it. But... I don't know, it seems to be taxing my graphics card for some reason. Who knew? In any case, we are properly pointed retrograde, which is good. Our blader is decaying, but hopefully the goo canisters will be fine. If not, I will have to use a service module in order to provide them with additional protection during re-entry and such. And yeah, this is going very slowly. Due to the simple fact that our graphics card, or rather my graphics card, is having trouble with this. Oh well. Okay, we are no longer... Yeah, this uh, speeds up rapidly if we don't need to do the flame things. And you can see that we have a very shallow entry, but that seems to be serving as well. And it's not so bad now, apparently. Nope. Uh, yeah, it's not so bad if I zoom out. But it does get troublesome if it has to sim... You know, I'm gonna leave the graphics as is. We'll just zoom out if we need to on the... re-entry on the capsule. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, we are at a manageable speed now. I have hopes that... All of our science will survive now, and uh, that we'll be able to do good, good things with this glorious science that we'll have rescued from the clutches of Minmus. Okay, that is overheating on them, as you can see. If those bars get full, I think they just die. Kabloosh die. Just... They go away. In an explosion. Because explosions are fun, no? Okay, uh, you need to adjust your heading and see how good this is. I mean, in this case, we would have had enough electric charge, because right up until the very end we were recharging anyway. But even so, it's nice to have such a nice reserve. Even if it's just from one battery, it's still enough to... Significant... Maybe I can just turn down the atmospheric effects a bit. And that will be enough. No. 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 I said no. Stay on the retrograde. Please. Thank you. Well done. Yeah, we burned off about 40 units of oblator there. And that's good enough. Turn off the SAS and deploy our three shoots. Just to make sure that the science survives, we want a lot of redundancy on those. Obviously. Obviously. Because there is a lot of science. Just this is 125. And that is certainly enough to be worthwhile. How are we on money? Okay, we can actually upgrade ourselves so that we can take surface samples. Excellent! And these mooncraft are relatively cheap. So, uh, that is good as well. I will try to design a better, read cheaper moonship in the next set of episodes, though. Simply because we are gonna be going to Moon and Minmus again, I think, and um, we might have some more science crap as well. But the launch system, at the very least, could be improved, 
and it possibly should be improved. Also, the goo canisters need to be moved into a service bay. They were kind of overheating, and I'd rather they were safer. But you know, in general, this is pretty good. It has been... This ship has served us well. It has... It's pretty damn functional. Pretty damn functional. And with plenty of reserves. I might make a tutorial for this one, I guess. If, you know, reasons and people are interested. Because, you know, it's relatively simple for, you know, low science. You don't need that many techs to build it, is what I mean, and... You know... It's... it's good, it's effective. Yeah, we're land, coming in our land. Maybe we can get a bit of extra science for that. We should have a crew report in there. That is from space near Kerbin, and thus will fulfill another one of our missions. If not... Well, we can do that on the way to the moon. Temperature scans on the moon. Ugh. Should probably s just send a probe with plenty of Delta V and just a thermometer and use that. Should be a lot more effective. Let's just time warp down. And then we're just gonna see how much exactly we can buy with this new glorious science. Uh, I am interested in perfecting space planes, maybe a smidge, but I think my primary concern should remain rocketry for two reasons. I'm good at it, right? And I'm already considering a... Uh, God damn it. We're gonna recover these separately. Okay. Recover that, and then we're gonna go and recover the other one as well. With all of that, it's science. Woo! Advanced level one! Whoop! Recover! Recover! 648! <laughs> Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah, we did good! 24% of the value recovered. That's fair, but we really... Perform EVAs? Yeah, but that's the wrong one. Right. Can collect surface samples, and this does boost our ability to take more advanced Attacks. Uh, basic action groups, nobody cares. Ah, uh, no, nobody cares. Yeah, we could make very primitive planes if we had the ability, but... What is that? Ooh. Oh. Uh, propulsion systems. Uh, again. Not very interested. Uh, things like this, though. And uh, not so much this. And uh, not so much this. Actually, that's a junior clan patron. But this we want. Uh, no. God damn it. Okay. Reaction wheels and actual proper winglets is probably useful. RCS, useful. Proper landing can, useful. We... That is a grabbing unit. This is advanced construction. Those are just some adapters, generally, and things like that. Uh, where can I get docking things? Here. Okay, so assuming I was going to Duna. Assuming that I was going to Duna. I would need that, and I would need the command pods. Specialized control... Ah, uh, no, I don't need that, but I do need... Well, I need quite a few things if I want to do this Duna mission the way 
I want to do it. Uh, main cells would make it relatively easy to go to Duna, actually. Okay, let's say we want to send a single person to Duna. What do we need, really? When we get right down to it. Uh, a parachute? A bigger one, that is? Uh, not really. I mean, we could grab these two. And that would give us enough oomph, generally speaking, to do all kinds of interesting things. And in the meantime, we can just grab some aerodynamic crap, really. I mean, we have basic landing legs. Yeah, let's... Yes, this is good. This will allow us to build some space planes and do some other things. Yeah, I think this is good. I really think this is good. We have most of the 90 science tier tech, so that's great as well. In any case, thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys next time when we play Kerbal Space Program. So, uh, see you guys then.